Okay, let's take a look now at the Hispar K-Series range of sleeping bags. They've been described as ultralights for the mountains and that is a really super description for them. They are exceptionally lightweight pieces of equipment and they are developed for mountaineering. They're, they're developed particularly for high altitude mountaineers that want to travel fast and light, carry the minimum uh, weight and therefore get on with uh, getting onto summits and along ridges and so on. And they've been used a, a great deal by polar uh, explorers, polar trips and expeditions that are particularly weight conscious and looking to travel as fast as possible to, uh, to, get, uh, to get over the plateau and things like that. Now, uh, let's have a look. I've got two Hispar bags to show you. The range, the Hispar uh, bags are range through a 400, Hispar 400, 500, 600, 800, 1000 and 1200. And that takes, that gives us a range of temperatures uh, of uh, the 400, which is rated at minus 9 degrees C. That's the lightest of the Hispar bags. And the range goes all the way up to the Hispar K series 1200 and that's rated at minus 58 degrees C so it really is the Hispar 1200 is really designed for the most extreme expeditions the highest altitude the coldest expeditions and again for those people that are looking for very lightweight equipment and to travel fast I've, bought, I've got two of the bags here and I'm going to show you the, the two bags which cover the range and show uh, a few of the changes that develop as the range goes warmer and warmer and warmer. First of all, let's have a look at the Hispar uh, K-Series 400 bag. This one is rated at minus nine, so it's the lightest of the Hispar bags and it's a true mummy bag. It's a high altitude mountaineering bag and it's a true mountaineer's mummy bag. You can see the shape of the hood. It's a, a, it's a full-on, a full really, mummy-shaped hood. It comes in around you, over the shoulders, and comes narrower around your head. That's to get a closer and warmer fit. It, the shape then broadens out very wide around the chest uh, to give you plenty of room. It's not chest width, is it? It needs enough room for your arms and so on to be able to move and so on and to move around comfortably. So at its, it's at its broadest over the chest. And then, then it narrows down at the waist, narrows down quite a lot at the legs, and then we've got a, a, a round box wall shaped foot, foot uh, panel at the end. These always have a lot of extra down in them because people get cold feet. Also, just looking at the bag, we have a side panel here which is down filled. Now that is to prevent the cold, a cold spot at the side of the sleeping bag and it's also to increase the differential between the inner and the outer. As these bags get, as these bags get warmer and warmer, so as we go from the 4 to the 100 to the 500 to the 600 and so on, they're getting warmer and warmer and the box wall panels inside are getting wider and wider to allow more and more down inside the panels and as that happens this side wall gets broader as well to increase the differential cut from the between the inner and the outer. I can show you it here on the thousand. You can see it there. There's that superb side panel. It's downfilled and it blocks any chance of any cold air where those the front and the back, the, the base of the bag and the top of the bag meet. So it's box it's a, a panel of down all the way down there to maintain warmth. It's on both sides, it's on the zip side as well. There, the zips on the top of it look. And with these mummy bags you have to have a zip to get in. You can see how it's gone narrow, narrow at the top there. That's for maximum efficiency, maximum performance from the bag. But by doing that, you actually have, you've narrowed it and makes it awkward to get in it. So you need a zip to open it up anyway. So these bags always come with a short zip or and we can put a long zip in for you. Of course, PhD is a very unusual company. It's a very specialist down company. It's not a mass manufacturer of down equipment. It actually makes equipment bespoke for its client one by one, and it's made for its end user. We don't sell to shops. We sell directly to the end user, and that allows us, and we, we build the bag for them and that allows us to offer a great deal of flexibility on and options and so on of what what you want when we build it for you 
So for instance, we can put a zip on the left or we can put it on the right. If you're right-handed and lying on your back, you would normally have a left-handed zip normally. So you can reach over to do the zip up. It's more comfortable than if it was here. So you'd have a left-handed zip if you were a right-hander. Um, we can also obviously put in a full length zip. The, this bag here has got a full length zip running all the way down there except just leaves the, the, a, a space at the bottom piece so there's no cold right around the feet there. This is a two-way zip. Once, If we put in a full length zip it's two-way so you can open it up and, and allow, allow cool air onto your feet if your feet are getting too hot. So um, that's the basics of the design shape of these lightweight bags. It's a very straightforward box wall construction. And let's just look at the materials. They're quite unique and they're particularly aimed at lightweight, maximum performance, weight to warmth. That's what we're looking at here all the time. Let's look at the outer fabric first. It's Ultra Shell. Ultra Shell is a proofed, it's a lightweight water resistant fabric, lightweight, breathable and water resistant. So it's a super uh, material. How does it work? Well, it is actually, it's got two proofings on it. First of all, on the underside of the fabric, it's got a PU spray-on proofing, which allows it to be water resistant and breathable. It's a light coating and it gives us protection that's permanent. It'll last the lifetime of the bag. It can't be rubbed off. It's on the underside, the side that's touching the down. Um, on the outer, it's got a DWR coating and that's to help with water bead off. So uh, when you, you you see it on waterproofs and jackets when you buy a new waterproof the water gathers and beads and, and runs off and that's what the treatment is on this fabric as well and why why do we do that well when condensation intense can be a real problem to them to the sleeping bag particularly we've always been taught don't touch the sides of your tent but in modern tents that can be tricky quite often your, your sleeping bag is touching the walls of the tent and whether you've got condensation or hoar frost or frozen ice on the inside of the tent they can all lead to trouble of getting the down wet and so this water resistant fabric on the outer here protects the down and stops the stops water getting through the down. You particularly notice it on the foot panels, that's where people often find they get quite a bit of dampness. It's because we're, if your head is a little bit higher than your feet and you're naturally going to slide a little bit down to the tent, um, to the to the end with your feet often pushing on the side of the tent this is the sort of area that can be quite troublesome for damp so by having water resistant permanently water resistant fabric on this on this on this whole bag it really protects the bag equally if you're in a snow hole and you had condensation drips from the roof of the hole when you cook inside a snow hole it drips doesn't it like mad so protecting your bag from drips from the ceiling really smart idea and so ultra shell is superb for that it's very very lightweight fabric but it's water resistant and permanently water resistant right the inner of the bag is 10x it's a blue you can see it there look that blue it's a 10 denier fabric it's very very light very soft downproof windproof of course we really like this fabric because it's soft and downproof and very light. The lighter the fabric the better because there's two reasons why lightness in fabric is so useful in a sleeping bag. First of all is that reducing the overall weight of the bag is what we're after. It reduces the weight, doesn't it? And with down equipment, reducing the weight always reduces the stuff sack pack down size as well. They, they're, they're, they're directly related. So it reduces the overall weight of the equipment, but also lighter fabrics allow the downs to loft as much as possible. So we're looking for the maximum performance from that down. So the lighter the fabric, the better. It doesn't compress the down. It allows, it releases the down and allows it to loft further. Right, so that's the fabrics which are important to these designs because we're going for this maximum warmth to weight performance. And then let's look at the down. Well, the down is 1,000 fill power down. It's their highest quality down in the world. And we use that because it gives us the greatest loft, the greatest insulation effectively that you can get. 
and that is critical in us trying to achieve this lightweight equipment this lightest possible weight and this best possible ratio of weight to walk performance so we use 1000 fill per down and this down is 100% pure goose it's not a blend it's pure goose down and that is part of how we have such high quality downs now on top of that uh, our downs are natural downs they're not chemically enhanced downs they're not treated in some way to change their performance or in enhance their performance these are natural very very high quality downs and why do we do that well we do it for two reasons of course we want the performance and these natural downs get us to that absolute amazing performance that we get from this that we get from this thousand fill power down and then the other reason is we want a long life this is very expensive high quality equipment we want a really long life out of this equipment and this this type of equipment will last a, last a, a, a lifetime if it's treated reasonably well if it's stored correctly after use if it's washed carefully and if it's dried every time it, if it's fully fully dried really fully dried after use and after uh, washing and before storing it'll give you a long long life you, you should be able to pass these bags on to the next generation quite simple they, they really are high-end pieces of equipment and by using natural downs we're ensuring that the lifespan of that down is optimized okay so let's that's the hispar 400k that's the minus nine one very very light beautiful piece of equipment superb for british winters and that sort of thing i'm going to jump up now right all the way up to the hispar 1000 this is a bag that's rated at minus 46 degrees c so it's used a great deal at the for the highest altitudes for you know 8000 meter peaks and so on and for those climbers that want that, they're trying to accomplish mountaineering fast and light summits, they, they, they really can't be having uh, bulky and heavy equipment. They really need it to be as light as it is possible. And that's what these bags are all about. This one is actually a Hispar 1000, and it is a wide, just so happens to be a wide bag. Now, we make these bags to order, and we make uh, 16 different sizes of these bags. We make four lengths four different lengths from sh uh, short, standard, long, extra long, and uh, four different widths. So it's slim, uh, standard, wide, and extra wide. And why do we do that? We do that to get the absolute best fit possible. With a sleeping bag, it's so important to get a good fit. That's where you're getting the maximum performance. If the bag's too big for you, there'll be cold air inside the bag, and it's not as warm as you'd want it. Uh, equally, if it's too big for you, it's, it's heavier than you needed. It's big, and you didn't need to carry that weight in the first place. Having a smaller bag is lighter, of course. Equally, if it's too short for you, it isn't going to perform as well. If, it, you need to, if, if your feet are pushing tight on the foot panel at the bottom, and if you can't get the hood cinched right down because when you when you when you're very cold obviously you're going to cinch the hood right down to maximize the warmth of the bag but if you're too long for that bag it prevents you doing that so the bag really needs to fit well so we make the bags to order and get the right cut we, we sort out the size first that's the first thing to work out if you have a look at our size charts you can then work out exactly what size fits your body shape um, so this is the Hispar 1000K, rated at minus 46. Now there's a change here. There's one critical change you'll see. Um, it, it happens actually at the Hispar 600. So we've got the 400, the 500, and then the Hispar 600, which is rated at minus 21. From that warmth onwards, so the 800, the 1000, and the 1200, we start to put, we now put, waterproof panels on the inner of the hood you'll see on the two lightweight bags we just use the lightest fabrics on the hood but after minus 21 when you get to the Hispar 600 and the bags above that we put waterproof panels in the hood and uh, waterproof pan uh, waterproof fabric sorry waterproof fabric on the collar so the collar and the hood have a waterproof panel and also the footpiece the inner footpiece has waterproof fabric as well
Why do we do that? Well, below those temp below sort of minus 20 really, or beyond minus 15 really, you start to run into trouble with ice on the outside of the bag from your breath. So while you're asleep, the vapour in your breath will start to form ice on the inside and the, on the outer side of the hood. It's not really a major problem. As long as you're nice and warm, it doesn't really matter. But it is a concern to uh, protecting the down. The problem is, is when when the sun comes up and it gets hot in that uh, tent, and uh, that ice that's crusted, sort of encrusted this area, that will start to melt and turn to water. So you've got water around here, around the hood. You don't want that. The potential for it then to get to the down is too too risky. So this is now made in waterproof. Uh, fabric to protect the down. Now let's just have a look at the inside of these bags. So again the Hispar 600, the 800 and the uh, 1000 and the 1200 is also got, we've also got waterproof fabric at the footpiece and that's because most of us, uh, a lot of us really, just carry on wearing the socks that we've used all day in our Gore-Tex lined boots or our plastic boots in our mountaineering boots. We start to, uh, we're, we're quite likely to go get to bed with getting to a sleeping bag with those socks on. They might be warm because you've had uh, your feet in your boots all day and so on and boots are heavily insulated aren't they as you get into more serious winter mountaineering boots. But the truth is those socks will be quite damp from perspiration from your feet and really you just don't want that damp getting onto the down so that's the reason so in these lower temperatures where you're more likely to keep your socks on really ideally you shouldn't you should take them off and let them dry out maybe you've got them on because you're trying to dry them out in the sleeping bag down down socks are, are, are really a very good answer to this but if you've got damp socks on and you're inside your sleeping bag we've got waterproof fabric around the foot piece okay so that's that's how we get a change this is the uh, this bag here is the thousand it's a wide as i say you can see there we've got a full length zip and double uh, draft tubes okay that's that is to protect the stock it Zips aren't windproof at all. Wind, cold air goes through a zip straightforward. It's very easy for cold air to get through a zip. So we put a double down filled tube along the base there to stop that happening. Okay, so that's the basics of the Hispar bags. Built to order, made to order, so you get the correct fit. Made out of the lightest fabrics in the world and using our lightweight techniques that we've developed for uh, lightweight backpacking and lightweight uh, runners and so on. So straightforward box wall construction and a very well designed mummy shape to maximise the performance. Lightweight fabrics and the highest quality down in the world. That gets us these superb high altitude lightweight mountaineers sleeping bags, the Hispar K-Series. All right, cheers.